Hey, what's up guys? It is your boy Xenoshift Gaming here and welcome to a brand new video and man has it been a really long time since I've done a video on my YouTube channel and it's been even longer since I've done one with commentary on it. Whew, it's been a doozy of a ride hasn't it been folks but that's alright. We don't have to talk about it here. So as you guys can see here I am playing, or I'm going to start playing, a very new game and a very different kind of game that I didn't really think I would be interested in, let alone want to put on my channel. So um, this is a rather interesting uh, kind of game, and I'm I'm actually enjoying it, not gonna lie. Um, there's a few things here and there that makes makes the game a little, um, I guess a little frustrating than, you know, I'd like, but at, at times I feel like that's me with a lot of games, so, um, I'm not saying it's not, it's just me, it's just, you know, there's just certain mechanics here and there that I don't particularly feel comfortable with or agree with, but, you know, sometimes, especially if they don't give you the option for, um, you can't, you, you know, you gotta adapt, you know, you gotta adapt to it. So, um, what this game is, if you don't already know, it's called Man Eater, and basically it's sort of um, like a shark sim, but with a twist and a little bit of spin, and it's a bit spicier than you'd think a shark sim game would be. So, you know, as I said, uh, you play as a shark, a bull shark to be exact, and uh, basically the story of the game, which... Um, I haven't finished it or anything. I just started it, but um, basically, it, it's uh, the bull shark is on a vengeful quest, hunting down a man called um, what was it? Uh, I don't remember his name, but he's kind of like the main antagonist of the game, who is a shark hunter, and he has killed your mother, the shark's mother, and has scarred you literally with a knife on you. You can you'll see the scar. Um, so that he can recognize you when he sees you next time. Um, and with that traumatizing experience for the little shark, he basically has a, uh, you know, like I said, a vengeful, uh, journey ahead of him. And that's his main goal, is to hunt down, um, that, that man, um, with the bonus of, you know, hunting other things down along the way. Um, so that's basically the main premise of the game and there's a lot of cool things with it um, for starters you can fight other apex predators and you can eat other stuff to level up and my favorite feature in the entire game is um, that your shark can actually evolve and with each evolution not only does it make your shark stronger and better but it also physically changes his appearance which is probably mm, I guess I could say the main reason why I bought this game because not only does that sound amazing and it kind of reminds me of the mobile game Hungry Shark but the physical appearances of the evolutions all look really cool and I really like how they look so I am very excited to obtain the full sets um, and the way they have done it in this game is kind of like an armor set uh, pieces like in and in in, you know any typical MMORPG would do it and you have to collect the whole set to not only get the whole bonus attributes from that set of evolution but to also make that shark look like the said set of that evolution so yeah now with that in mind and being said I'm actually not sure if you can mix and match if you can that would also be pretty cool but if you can't then that's something I actually do not mind so either way I'm fine with if I'm gonna be honest um, so yeah I to basically tell you guys where I'm at before I actually get started here I have beat my first tutorial map which was pretty small and there's not much to do in there I mean there is still stuff I have to do so I'll go back in there eventually but there's not too much to go in there you know since it's a tutorial 
area. Um, then I beat the main uh, part, the first and second, and I think I'm in my third area, I believe. I think it's called the Gold Shores or Golden Shores. It's basically where all the rich people are, so the waters are much nicer. There's golf courses, yachts, and the whole shebang. It's all there, so... I'm actually kind of excited to fully explore and let me just say when I first entered that area I was so spooked because I saw and was not expecting to see a freaking Mako shark in there and that freaking got me I when I encountered it and he scared me I was able to beat it albeit by trying not to die and I almost kind of died in the process of doing so but I managed to beat him and I basically regained my health um, with that fight. So that was pretty nice. Um, but man, let me tell you, it, it, I was not expecting a Mako shard. So this game, this game is good. I, I like this game. This is, this is so cool. I'm telling you, I'm really excited for the evolution. I just cannot wait. I've already collected two pieces on the mouth. So I have the first part of the bone and the first part of the bioelectric set. So I think the one I have currently equipped, which I'll check, I'll double check before um, we actually explore the area. Um, I think I have the bioelectric uh, jaws. So, which basically, as the name implies, I can stun my enemies with electrical shocks with each bite. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I think that's mainly all I have to say for the game so far. Um, so yeah. One thing to note, by the way, guys, uh, as a disclaimer, if you guys hear like a like a wind whirring noise, that's my fan. It's kind of close to me, so I'm sorry about that. But my room lately has been pretty hot, especially when I'm playing uh, for my gaming sessions. Um, it gets pretty hot in here in my room, so I have like literally two fans. I have like. Um, a a plug-in fan which is like a little fan it's not too powerful but it's powerful enough I suppose to do its job and then I have a ceiling fan that's also on but I don't think you guys hear that because I've always had that and I didn't hear it in my videos so that won't be an issue but the one that you are hearing if you do hear it is the one that I just got basically from my room um, that I've been using and it's the plug-in one so I'm sorry about that. It's just it's kind of warm in here and it's just very uncomfortable for me. I prefer the room to be cold than hot to be honest with you. Um, but with that out of the... Oh, and one more thing. Sorry. I know I'm prolonging this, but this, this is important in case you have questions or doubts. Um, if you hear any extra noises, those are my dogs. They're also in my room. I'm kind of the person who watches them in the house um, when it comes to them being around the house because you know i guess it's easier since the room is more compact and they're just you know laying down and chilling but if you do hear scurrying and all that that's that's just them so don't worry about that don't let that bother you and i hope you can still enjoy this video all right and now with all that out of the way we can get started all right guys so we are going to uh oh that's weird it has that um, let's see, so I can tell you right there I'm level 8, and I have played for 4 hours. Not bad. Hmm. I didn't think I played for that long. Alright guys, so yeah. And I couldn't get the pre-order, which I was very upset about, because with the pre-order, uh, you get a bonus, uh, Tiger Shark skin, which not only does it look freaking awesome, but it also helps you digest a lot of stuff, and helps you progressed through the beginning of the game a little bit easier and yeah and I just really wanted that but I couldn't get it so that sucks but that's all right I still like the game either way so we're just gonna dive in <laughs> oh boy and uh, we're just gonna get the beach to it. sure does look inviting but according <laughs> to the most recent study the sand here contains dangerously high concentrations of fecal bacteria well that's nasty but good to know I suppose all right guys so we are jumping in and this is my little humble abode I know it's kind of messy but you know it's still kind of homey I got my beach balls that I can't interact with I got this weird sci-fi futuristic tube energy thing that connects to this underwater kind of futuristic uh, submarine thing um, and 
I got these lovely little coral flowers. So yeah, it's a rather nice looking home, if I do say so myself. Kind of cozy, kind of homey, especially for a bull shark, if I do say so. Um, but yeah, it's nice, isn't it? And the lighting, I've got, I even got lighting. You can't ask for any more. And look, I got my own car, got my own boat. I got everything, you know? It's all nice. All right, so with that joke out of the way, um, as you guys can see with how I mentioned earlier, the man literally slashed the freaking shark, and now he has that forever, and that sucks. It does make him look cool, but man, does that suck for him. All right, and yes, you do start out as a really tiny shark, and you do grow up. So right now, he is 2.3 meters, I believe, and that's pretty big, actually, and I'm level 8. All right, I'm going to show you guys the upgrades real quick, and then we're going to actually go around. So this is what the menu looks like, which is pretty cool. And what I like is that the menu is animated in terms of you inspecting the different aspects and areas of the shark itself. So for example, when I go to the mouth, he's going to open his mouth, and you can get a closer look at the jaw, and it just looks cool. So... The first one you see is the one that I actually have equipped, so I was wrong earlier. Um, is the bone teeth, which is part of the bone set. Now, I think there's only like three or four, maybe five, just pushing it, five um, set different sets of evolution. But the only ones I know are three of them. So, yeah, there's the bone, the shadow and the bioelectric set that those are the only ones i know so part of the bone set are these bone uh teeth for the jaws and it it reminds me of the style of the fish which you guys can correct me because i do not fully remember the name but i know the fish and it's a prehistoric fish that actually had teeth just like this where the teeth were actually like like actual bone like 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 a bone of the the rest of the body like like you know how like imagine if you had if your teeth were the same kind of bone material and density as the rest of your body like your arm or legs for example that is pretty crazy and that's what made him a pretty uh i don't know if they were apex predators i think at the time they were apex predators and they can you know squeeze and crush different types of prey and yeah they were they were pretty massive uh creatures back in the day i think they were kind of like the piranhas of the time they were like prehistoric piranhas you know so that's pretty cool and and they look kind of cool they're very bony looking like not bony in the essence like skinny just like they have like a lot a lot of armor plating but it's just their bones it's it's i don't know it looks cool obviously they have skin and you don't see like the actual little calcium and all that but like the shape you know you could tell it's like right on top it's like right on the skin right there so i don't know i think it looks pretty cool especially the teeth so that's what it reminds me of i think that's actually what they were going for which is pretty cool it just makes me like it even more um what these do is it just increases the damage really if you didn't read it, the attributes uh, already before and yeah that's pretty cool next one i unlocked are the bioelectric teeth and like i stated earlier it uh provides a more shocking type of damage for the enemies and targets when you bite them and when you bite in them enough that you'll actually stun them which is pretty cool so i think because of that and that's the newest ones i got and it's part of the bioelectric set as you guys can see there i think i'm actually going to equip it for now all right so we're gonna leave those on and as you guys can see, I barely started the game in terms of evolution because I can only I only have two organ pieces on, which is the advanced solar or sonar, sorry, um, and the hardy uh, attribute. So I only have two organ pieces on, and I only have one piece of the evolution set on, and on those I only have one of two sets one piece of the two sets so yeah as you guys can see i barely started one thing to just i don't know note which is not really important at all but uh, you guys can see every time he opens his mouth look at his freaking eyes man 
That's kind of creepy. They just go white. I I know that the the sharks in real life have like this sort of protective layer, like kind of like a, a, a an eyelid for them that actually protects them. Um, I'm not sure exactly what, but I know it's kind of a protective thing, and it's like their uh, eyelids, and it's like white. So if that's basically the same thing that's going on here, I find it a little strange that every time he opens his mouth that activates you know i just think that's kind of weird but hey that's all right i'm sure there's a reason for it um but anyway with that out of the way i think we can get started now all right so we're gonna go out of my little humble abode here and all you have to do in case you get lost with this mess of a home here you just uh, follow the little like i said futuristic energy wire thing and there you go you're outside all right guys so now we're officially out and we are exploring this crazy world and i gotta say this world is crazy and wild and man is it intense especially with the counters with predators gosh it's crazy and humans can't forget well i guess i make some predators too technically all right so let's see where we have to go now so i guess we can do one of three quests so we can do the sport of kings and what i have to do is um kill 10 mackerels and that's what i get um the other one is consume 10 humans and the last one is destroy the target which is the mako shark so that's basically a boss so that's an apex predator apex predators in this game are the equivalent of a boss in an rpg so if he is this place's boss, aka the Apex Predator, then I'm going to you do him last, actually. So for now, I think I'm actually going to do the easiest one for now, so, you know, to just make the video a little, you know, so you guys can see and digest a little bit. Not too much for you. Um, we're going to do this one where we have to kill 10 mackerels. And even though the guy, since you guys heard earlier, the, there is a narrator for this game. That's kind of like the little gag that this game has to make you, you know, to make the adventure a little less boring, I suppose. Um, even though uh, he, he, he'll say it after you finish the mission, you can actually play it right here on the menu when you are hovering over it with the cursor. Um, and you can play it real quick. So... Nothing gets a kingfish in the mood quite like watching a 73-year-old hit a double boat. The fact that they've turned the waters <laughs> off Baton Tordu into a spawning ground attests to their love of seniors golf. Sorry about that. That's my brother. Um, yeah, he just interrupted me there. <laughs> but anyway, uh, you guys heard it. So you got yeah. So you can play the little narration of the area if you want to, um, which is pretty cool. So. All right, so with that out of the way, why don't we get started with the mission? And why don't we eat stuff along the way so I can level up a little bit? There we go. Perfect. All right. Also, guys, let me know if the game is too loud that you guys can't hear my commentary. So that way on my next video, you know, um, I can fix that. Because I'm actually not sure if it's too loud or not. I'm a little worried that it is... But I'm hoping that I am wrong, that it's too loud, and I'm actually hoping you guys can still hear me just fine. Okay, so where is this mission now? Okay, so... Wait, um, okay, so... I guess it's this way? Alright. I'm trying to hide myself from the humans for now. I don't want to cost any attention, because it's like Need for Speed. When you kill a lot of humans, you uh, make yourself well known, and then you become wanted, and then bounty hunters come out of nowhere, like the cops in the game, and they try to hunt you down and kill you. So, yeah, I definitely don't want to do that just yet. Um, it's inevitable, of course, but let's just delay it for now. All right, so my prey is here. So let's start consuming them. I hear predators, and I don't like that. Oh, it's a Mako! Yo, chill out! Ugh. Okay, okay. All right, chill, chill, Mako. Chill, chill. Oh, gosh! Nobby, I'm getting you, boy. I will say that in real life, 
out of the very many species of sharks that exist out there, um, Makos are actually my favorite, look-wise. I don't know much about their behavior because every shark is a little different. Ooh! Ooh, that was close. Okay. Man, we're scarring him good. But, uh, you know, they're unique in their own way. Oh, there's two of them! Yo, chill out! Bruh! Are you kidding me? Yo, alright, alright, alright. Alright, alright. We can do this, guys. We can do this. Dang, I missed! Yo, chill out! Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Yo. I'm sorry, guys. This is actually really intense. Like, you have to time the dodges perfectly. If not, they'll bite you like that. Ah! No! Get out! Uh. Yeah, thank you for letting me know now. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I got this. I got this. You know what, guys? I have a feeling that in this video I might not actually get anything done because of these Mako Sharks. But let's hope I'm wrong. Ugh. Okay, let's get him. Ugh, little bites at a time. Little bites at a time. Little bites at a Whoa! That was close. Oh, I missed. Oh, Little bites at a time. Oh, Ooh, I'm going to dodge that guy. Ugh. Okay, okay. I don't think sharks make these noises in real life, guys. But it does help me know when they're going to strike. Whoa, like that. Um, and not only that, but they sound pretty cool, so... Uh, okay. Oh, I got him on his tail. Okay. We got this. Uh, okay. All right, all right, all right. This is bad, 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 this is bad. Okay. Oh, I'm missing. Oh, this is bad. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on. Come on, Zeno. You got this. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. You see that Ultra Instinct? Woo! Oh, did you see that? Oh, that's what I get. Oh, that's what I get. That's what I get. All right, all right. I deserve that. Oh, nope. Nope. I don't know if I can do this, guys. I'm starting to think I might not be able to do this with one Mako. Like it's... Oh, like I said earlier, I can do it. But... Ooh, 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 ooh. Nope. Nope. Nope, Chief. Nope. I'm going to have to come back, consume some prey, heal up, and then fight to... Oh... Oh gosh, and then come back. Alright, let's just heal up a little bit. I know they're after me. You can see the arrows on the cross of the screen there. They're they're chasing me. I know they're chasing me. But right now I can't afford to fight them because as you guys can see, I was doing pretty badly. If I could just heal up a little bit, sorry for the uh, frame rate drop. I don't know why it's doing that. I've been noticing that too uh, earlier when I was playing. And the, it, it does a little bit of a frame drop, which is kind of a bummer actually. But obviously there's nothing I could do for that. Especially since I'm playing on console. But anyway. I think now that I gained some of my health back. Or most of it I should say. I think if the Makos are gone. No they're not. Dang it. Nope. That's one. Where's the other Mako? I know there's two of them. Oh. There he is. Oh wait. No. That. Oh. Those are humans. Nope. I don't want to interact with them just yet. Nope. I don't want to mess with them just yet. I don't want to be known just yet. Uh, there's got to be a way for me to get across without messing those with those Mako sharks, you know? Uh, okay. Nope. Nope. There's no way. There's no way, guys. Okay. Wait. Maybe I cheated the system. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, there's two. Oh, are there three? Nah. Be Bruh. There's three Mako sharks. Nah, it's over, Chief. Forget it. Just... Ooh, 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 ooh. Yo, they're jumping out of the water. Nope. No. 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 Yo, chill out. Oh, my gosh. Yo, that jump scared me. Bro, that actually got me. My chest hurts. Oh, my gosh. Okay, not gonna lie. That kind of got me. Oh, my God. That was a good jump scare. Ooh, ooh. Nope. Dude, you can hear it. You can hear them chasing me. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Eat a macro. Eat a macro. Oh my gosh. I didn't eat him. That's okay. That's okay. That's all right. Taking chomps. Little bites at a time. Little bites at a time. And all the while, I'm regaining a little bit of health back. Why is there a barracuda here? I do not need to mess with a barracuda right now. I just need the mackerels. 
That's all I need. Where are the apex predators? Or sorry, where are the ma macro sharks? Ah, uh, I'm going ahead of myself. Apparently, I'm talking about apex predators, even though I'm having trouble dealing with a freaking maco. Whoa! Oh my god! I can deal with one mako shark, albeit struggling, but I can still deal with it, you know? But three? Oh my god. You guys saw how I struggled with freaking two, and now there's three in the party. Hex, no, man. I'm not messing with that, bro. Is that a mackerel? Come here, mackerel. You're mincemeat, boys. All right. And here's more lunch. I don't think that was a mackerel, but I need health anyway. And to level up, of course. So that kills two birds with one stone. Oh, hey, there's a fence here. Uh oh, what's in here? Hmm. I wonder what's in here. Hello? Anything special down here? Anything that doesn't have predators in here oh yep there we go cool a little bit of a snack can't couldn't hurt anyone right is this a macro oh i needed that cool i didn't know the macro were in here too man if they were all in here that would be great actually that would be great but as i can see they're not here is that me oh okay that's me i thought i was hearing something wasn't there another tunnel to go through? Wait, was that a key mackerel? No, that's a grouper, but I think I saw one. Wait, is that a mackerel? That's a, that's a mackerel. Dang, mackerels are huge! Wow, I didn't know they were that big. My god. Dude, I'm 2.3 meters. Like, and I'm that big, and they're that big? Obino, grouper? I'll take that. There we go, a little bit of mutagen doesn't hurt anyone either. Especially if you're trying to get stronger. Alright, I haven't gone through here yet, so what's what's in here? Oh, what? Oh, yo, I thought that was a predator. Oh, wait. Oh! Oh, you guys think I can take on this human? Oh, heck yeah. Man, what you doing down here by yourself? Man, you did that to yourself. Freaking humans, dumb, right? Am I right? Inferior species. Another one? Dang. They're everywhere. Alright. Take this then. See, if you were in a group of divers, I might have a little bit of a hard time with you, but the fact that you are by yourself? Nah. You, you sealed your fate there. Okay. Wait, is the quest not counting because I'm going too far of the area? Is that it? Oh, that sucks. That's probably what's going on, guys. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I'm too busy exploring a new area. Another albino catfish? Yes, please. And a mackerel. Even though it's not counting, but I'll still eat them anyway. Alright, let's get that. A little bit of mutagen. Alright, that's pretty good. Um, oh my gosh, how long is this? How big is this place? Is there any divers or any other surprises I should worry about? Oh my gosh, guys, look at this place. It's disgusting. I mean, I know for sharks, it doesn't matter at all. But gosh, it's so gross. Oh, wait, this part is pretty, though. What a weird tone shift. Wait, what? Oh. Man, get out of here with that. I, I thought you were scaring me. I thought you were freaking a bigger predator. Get out of here with that. Oh, I need that. Thank you. Perfect. Oh wow, Over these the course of a are... bull shark's life, it will ingest quite a broad assortment of flotsam and jetsam. Yep, that's true. Wait, there's more to explore? How big is this? All right, guys, I'm sorry for the sidetrack, but I guess we're going to be sidetracked because apparently this place is humongous. There we go. Get out of the way so I don't get squished. Yeah, last time I got stuck on that, and that was not a huge no-no. Oh my gosh, where am I? Where did I just end up at? Where's the quest at? Oh my gosh, I went on the other side. I'm all right. I'm done. Well, that was that was cool. That was fun. Ah, this was an actually this was actually a nice little exploration, especially this area. Look at this place. This little area here is very nice. It's very very pretty. 
Although there is one problem though. I'm a little lost. Oh wait, no, I came through here, didn't I? I think I did. So let's go through this area then. And let's see what's up. Or I guess in this case, down. Am I right, guys? <laughs> ah, man. Anyway, consider subscribing, guys. Sorry about, that. Sorry about that, guys. My uh, dad was in the room there. Alright, so let's see. Um, as you guys can see, I was just circling around, so there was no point in commentating on that anyway. Not anything exciting other than the scenery. So, um, if it's all the same to you guys, I'm a little lost, to be honest. Oh, wait, no. I know my way around now. I know that I came through here to see if there was more stuff. Which, as you saw earlier, I don't think there is. I was just going in circles. There's just a little bit of King Mackerels here, but nothing too spectacular other than that. And a grouper. And I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else. So I guess we can leave? I... I guess we can get out of here. Because there's nothing else to explore. Is this where I came through? Yeah. Alright, I guess we can leave now, guys. Look at how these some of these sprout out like that. Or hide when I go too close to it. Pretty weird, huh? Oh, a barracuda. Don't care about that. Alright, let's just get out of here. I think we had enough uh, fun with the detour here. Not that I didn't have fun, mind you, but... Let me just get this barracuda for trying to be tough. Actually, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. How is it not dead? There we go. Mmm, delicious. Alright, now we can leave, I think. Yep, now we're going back to Nasty Land. Another Barracuda? Man, I'm just gonna walk past you, honestly. I can't believe the Key Mackerel quest is not working down here. I have to actually be in the area with all the Mako Sharks. Ugh, I guess I really couldn't cheat the system like I thought. That sucks. Hey guys, am I going... Yes, yes, yes. I was about to say, am I going at the right direction? Am I going in the right direction? I think I am. Yes, yes, I think I am. Okay. We're good, we're good. I don't want to be lost down here. Is that a barracuda? Yeah, I don't want to face it. Okay, well, we're out. That was fun. Actually, yeah, I have to face it, because otherwise they'll just keep chasing me down, and I don't want them distracting me with all these freaking Mako sharks. Did I just stun him? Did it work? Cool. Alright guys, now let's see if I can finish this quest without interruptions. Oh, uh, yep. Confirmed, guys. I can't do it. Be I couldn't do it before because I was too far of the questing zone. That sucks. Oh, the Makos are back. The Makos are back. Thankfully, they're not doing that much damage. Well, one of them isn't anyway. Wait a minute. Is it just one? Oh. Well, if it's just one, then I think I can take it. Alright. Oh, never mind, never mind. There's two. Never mind. Ditch. Ditch the mission. Abort, abort, abort. It's not worth it. It's not worth it, guys. Just, just eat. Just eat the mackerels. Just eat the mackerels. Focus on the mackerels and nothing else. Oh my gosh. Mangoes are highly migratory, with the ability to travel across entire oceans. Why this one would willingly stay in Port Clovis is beyond me. Huh. He makes a good point, actually. 
and that also kind of explains their ferocity and determination. It's a in the Got moon, it. Quite like watching a 73-year-old hit a double boat. The fact that they've turned the waters off Baton Tordu into a spawning ground attests to their love of seniors golf. I see. Oh, interesting enough. Alright guys, I finished that quest. Uh, oh, another one. Sure, let's go to it. Ah, thankfully I was able to finish it. Man, barracudas don't scare me anymore. The apex one does, but not the normal ones. Yes guys, the first apex predator I fought was a barracuda and my gosh, was he intense. It took me four tries to defeat him. And that's the thing. He's the first Apex Predator, aka the first boss of the game. So I am actually very scared to see the next boss. Oh, I don't even want to think about it right now, honestly. Alright. In the meantime, though, we have a quest to do. So we have to go this way. And we have to eat ten more mackerels. Find some loose, um, consume 10 humans. I do not want to do that one just yet. Okay. I'm not sure how many quests I'm going to do, guys, because this video is already kind of long, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Right, there's a lot of stuff down here, huh? You know what's weird? I'm sprinting right now, but it doesn't look that fast, does it, guys? But look, when I stop sprinting, you can see the huge diff. <gasps> Nope, can't mess around, can't mess around, can't mess around, but you guys get the point anyway, so I can just go. Alright. It looks a lot faster when, when I'm on the shore, though. Like, look at this. Oh my gosh, is he still chasing me? I think he is. Yes, he is. He's still chasing me. Why? See? It looks a lot faster. I don't know why, but that's just visually deceiving I guess because I'm just going the same speed really okay where is okay where it where are they oh I see I see okay got it all right but I want to hide I don't want to attract too much attention three Mako sharks are more than enough I don't need humans to be on my tail literally oh hey look another box for me to get yes please thank you very much and now run for your life is nearly insatiable. Yep, you could say that. Especially with these Mako sharks, dude. Like, what in the world? Okay, so where's this quest again? Okay, it's through here somewhere. I will find it, guys. I will find it. Even if it takes me a while, I will find it. Alright, let's see. Yes, I am going the right direction. Alright, I think I'm in the area, guys. So time to eat some mackerels, and hopefully there's no more predators. Oh my god, there is. So now I may have three Mako Sharks with this one here, or four now. And... My... Okay. And my game is lagging. Great. Or, I should say, the, the game is dropping in frame rates. So... Why does it keep doing that? Is it because it's trying to render everything in? Too many fishes around? With the environment, I guess? It's weird. But now that I chased off two Makos, I would say that's a win, guys. Okay. We got a problem, guys. I'm not seeing... Oh, there's a Mako right there. I saw the Mako on my left, I know. I'm just trying to eat my mackerels. And he ran away. Great. You know what's kind of messing me up, not gonna lie? The frame drop. That's actually kind of messing me up a little bit. Can it stop doing that, please? These Makos are vicious. They play no games, you know? Alright, so let's see. Oh no, I hear them. Oh, okay. Alright, 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 alright. How many did I consume? Five? So I need five more? Oh man, I'm only halfway. Come on, come on. Okay, that's six. Oh, look, a landmark. Let me get that real quick. Upon using this medication, if you experience priapism, do not attempt to improvise your own surgical shot. Oh, all right then. That's an interesting backstory, to say the least. And he's back for more fun. And I don't want any part of that, actually. But regardless, we are determined to finish this quest. So let's finish it. Wow, guys, I am very sorry that 
it keeps dropping in frame rate. I don't know why it keeps doing that. It's doing it way too frequently than I'd like. I don't want it doing it at all, but the fact that it keeps doing it frequently has me a little concerned. Especially for my video quality. I'm really sorry about that, guys. I shouldn't have attracted the attention of the Barracuda. My bad. Okay, so I got seven now. So this should make it eight. Yes, that's eight. Uh, oh, here's another one right here. <clears throat> oh, look at that. Trick shot. Let's get it. Alright, that's nine, so one more to go. Let's just go across the Mako Shark. Let's just risk it. Because he's level three, so I should be able to take him down relatively fast. Yep, did it. I can go now. Alright, let's leave. Let me get that last meal in, though. Alright. That was rather successful, even if it took me a little while. Alright, so next quest is... Um, let me see if I can try to get this thing, actually. Let me see. Where is that at? Oh, it's down here? What? Where? Oh, it's down here. Okay, cool. Hold on, I'm trying to go down in it. There we go. Oh, there it is. Cool. Whoa. Am I on the other side? With the Makos. Nope. Done with that done with that okay so uh, I got two more quests the one of them is consume 10 humans and the other one is to fight the apex predator okay guys so here's what I'm gonna do here's the plan I'm going to make this video a little short and I'm going to finish this video off with the last quest being that I will have to consume 10 humans. Um, and then on my next video, I will tackle the challenge of the Apex Predator, which is the next quest after that. Because I know that, judging from my last experience with my last Apex Predator encounter fight, it'll take me a long time to beat. So that in itself would probably make the whole video so that'll probably just be titled its own video too like apex predator fight and then the whole 20 40 minutes or however long it takes me will be dedicated to that fight whether i'd like it or not so yeah i'm warning you guys in advance so be prepared for that so to finish it off we're actually gonna tackle the last one where i have to consume 10 humans Shark fin traders come every year to baton tordu because what other way is there to celebrate killing beautiful animals for tasteless nutritionalist body parts than a $450 round of golf? Hmm. All right, then. If you say so. All righty. So let's go and do that mission real quick. And where do I have to go for that? Nope. I knew I was going the wrong way. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Is that a Mako? No, it's a Barracuda. I'm not scared of you. All right. A normal Barracuda, keep in mind. I'm not talking about the Apex one. That one's freaking scary, too. Just like the Makos. Man, the Makos are ravenous, bro. Oof. I feel like I can, I can avoid alligators a little bit easier than Makos. Makos are just... Especially when they're grouped up. Gosh. Oh, speaking of which... Let me just try to go around him. Sorry guys, I need to level up. I'm so close to going to nine. Why aren't you speeding up? Come on. All right, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Uh, it looks like I am. Oh wait, no, wait, yes, yes I am. Oh wait, it's literally in the middle. Oh, that's weird. Oh wait, there's another quest? More mackerels? Huh. All right, I guess we'll do that one then. Sorry, guys. I, I really want to play it safe for my first video. That way, I can leave it the more exciting parts um, in my next videos, you know? Uh, let's see. Um, I guess... No, no, no. Let's, let's go around. Let's go around. But yeah, guys. Uh, this game is pretty fun. I actually like it. It's something different. You don't see many shark games out there. Especially ones that are as cool as this, where it's like, you know, very dynamic, goofy, and just all-around fun. I don't know. It's pretty cool, in my opinion. I like it. It's something different. 
not too expensive. Sorry about that. Like I said, it's my dog. Um, not too expensive, so you know, I, I like it. It's a good game. And am I going the right way? Uh, I guess technically I am. So yeah. I think on my next video, I will also focus a little bit more on landmarks. But for now, you guys only got one landmark. Is an animal of broad dietary proclivities. Alright. Not gonna lie, the narration is pretty good. It's not over the top. It's not too frequent. It's just... It's nice. Alright, so I guess we go through here. Is that a Mako? Yes, it is. Gosh. Okay, so... Are the micros down there? Oh, no. Look at that, guys. I think the macros are down there. How am I gonna get down there? Through here? No. What? Is there a passageway? There's gotta be. How else am I gonna go down there? Alright, guys. I guess I'll have to figure out this quest next time. Or wait. Is it on the surface? Let's find out. I don't think so. Wait, there's water. The mighty predator struck his Oh, look at that. Perfect. The sea wolf remains acutely aware of anything that might constitute fear. Come on, I'm trying to get out. There we go. Oh look, there's another relic or landmark right here. Hold on. There we go. Somebody's drinking team has a drowning problem. Ooh, I leveled up. Awesome. So now how big am I? 2.4 meters? 2.5 meters, actually. So I was 2.4 before. Nice. Cool, cool. Okay, so let's see. Where are those Makos at? Oh, wait, those are humans. I was going after the wrong quest. The whole time. Well, actually, no, not the whole time. So, so it's over there? How interesting. Dang, imagine playing golf and then in those water pits and those traps. Imagine seeing a shark like this. Or any kind of shark, really. Oof, that would suck. Big time. I'm pretty sure that kind of thing has happened, though. In real life. Though, I'm not really sure. All right. That's my dog again. I'm really sorry. He's... He's special. Alright. So... Yeah, guys. I don't think... We'll deal with that quest maybe next time. Yeah, it's taking too much of my time right now for this video. There's gotta be, like, a vent I'm missing, you know? I know they're not called vents, but... You guys know what I mean. There's gotta be a vent that I can bust through, you know? There's gotta be. And it can't be that far away. I mean, come on, that's... Or, I mean, I guess it could. Like that last place we explored. Oh, look, another chest. Cool. Let me grab that. Thank you. Anyone who has delved into the stomach contents of a shark is acutely aware that they'll eat just about anything. Yep, that's true. I actually knew that fact. Uh... Hmm. Another chest. Cool. The bull shark is able to attain larger maximal sizes through selective feeding. Cool. Alright, so guys, I don't know where... I know where the humans are, but I don't know where the ma... I mean, I know where the mackerels are, but I don't know how to get there. What, meanwhile, I know how to get to where the humans are. So I guess for now... I guess I'll figure it out off camera because this is literally taking too long. I'm literally just swimming around, doing nothing, just walking in circles, not even eating like I should to level up a little bit. So that's a little bit annoying. And usually with the sonar, you can detect the, the vents, but I'm not seeing anything with the sonar, even though I'm spamming it. Yeah, guys, I guess I'll just focus on the humans for now. Wow, that's lame. 
All right, so human. All right, humans. All right, so we're doing this one. Let's see how this goes. It's kind of hilarious how this works. All right, so they're up here. Oh, they saw me. Time to own up and go for it. Oh, they're running. Look at that. Not that I blame them. I mean, come on. It's a freaking shark. Let alone coming out of the water. That's crazy. There we go. Perfect. There it is, guys. As you guys can see on the top right, I have a threat meter, which is what attracts the bounty hunters who wants to kill me. So I have to make this quick. Oh, crap. There we go. Guys, stop making so much noise. You keep attracting the bounty hunters. Come on, I'm only eating you guys. It's not that big of a deal, right? <laughs> okay. There we go. I guess I'm good because I'm healing up, so I don't have to go back in the water. That's the beauty about that part. Alright, one more, or two more humans, and we should be good to go. Uh oh, I'm losing health, I'm losing health, I'm losing health. There we go. There we go. Because what other way is there to celebrate killing beautiful animals for tasteless nutritionalist body parts than a $450 round of golf? Okay, so let's see what other quests I've got. So this one's the Apex Predator, then there's the Macro one, and that's basically it for those main quests. Okay, guys, so basically I'm going to end the video there because I am not going to fight the Apex Predator right now on camera. All right. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it was very fun. I liked it a lot. I, I like this game a lot, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this a bit of madness of a game. It's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. Um, pretty goofy at times, um, but that's, that's what makes it charmful. You know, it's pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, guys. This has been Man Eater, and I will do more videos on this, and I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you on the next one. See you guys.